In this video, I'll be showing you how to optimize your Wi-Fi for gaming. So the optimizations and tweaks that I'm about to show you can help you get better internet speeds, can help improve your ping and latency, and also fix any issues like packet bursts and packet loss that you might be facing. So without further ado, let's get right into it. So before we get started with the tweaks and optimizations, we just need to create a restore point so that we can revert back to the default settings in case something doesn't work out. To do that, you need to first head to start and then search for create a restore point, open it up. And inside of this window, you need to first check if protection is turned on for your system drive. If it's turned on, you're good to go. But if it's off, what you need to do is first click on the system drive and then click on configure inside of here you need to turn on system protection and down here under the disk space usage you need to set this to at least two percent of your maximum drive capacity once you do this just click on apply and OK, and then we can create our restore point. To create, just simply click on the create button and then just set a name for your restore point. I'm going to set this as the current date and then just click on create. This should take less than two minutes to create the restore point. And once it's done, you can just click on close and OK. So now that the restore point has been created, we can start optimizing our Wi-Fi. So the first thing that we are going to do is update our drivers. To do that, you need to first head to device manager. Inside of here, open up the network adapters dropdown. And inside of here, you should see your Wi-Fi card labeled as wireless LAN card, or it should simply just say Wi-Fi. So once you find your LAN card, you need to note down the model number and the manufacturer of the LAN card. So if you have a custom PC and you have bought the components yourself, you can simply just enter the model number number and the manufacturer of your LAN card and then just download the official drivers from the website. But if you have a pre-built PC or a laptop, you'll have to download the network drivers from the motherboard manufacturer's website. So in my case, I'm using a laptop and in order to find your motherboard's manufacturer, what you need to do is go to start and type system information. Inside of here, you need to just look for the baseboard manufacturer. In my case, it's ASUS. So in this case, what you need to do is first enter Enter the motherboard manufacturer and then just enter the model number of your motherboard once you search for this term you'll either come across the drivers on the official motherboard manufacturer website for your computer or you'll find them or in the forums for your manufacturer in my case i came across the official product support website for my laptop and over here i was able to find the compatible drivers for my LAN card once you find them you need to simply just click on download and just save the file so once your driver has been downloaded you need to locate the file now there's two cases so your driver might be available as an executable file or .exe or it might be available in a .zip format so if it's an .exe application all you need to do is just simply double click on it and then just follow the instructions on screen to install the driver this is the simpler way and this should take less than two minutes to install but in case if you have a zip file i'm going to show you how to install that as well to start you need to first go to device manager Inside of here, click on the network adapters drop down and look for your LAN card. Once you find it, just right click on it and press update driver. Inside of here, you'll get two options. Click on browse my computer for drivers. And now for the location, just click on the browse button and then just simply select the folder where your driver has been downloaded. Keep in mind before you do this, you need to first extract the zip file or else it won't show up inside of the device manager. So once you have extracted, you will see that the folder appears and then just click on OK and click on next. And now it should automatically install the best driver that is available for your network card. Once this is done, just click on close and you can close device manager and then you need to quickly restart your pc if you've got an intel network card you can use the intel driver and support assistant or intel dsa to download the latest drivers for your network card and this software will automatically detect the kind of network card that you've got and install the best possible driver available so if you're using an intel card i'd recommend that you download this app so if you're looking to optimize your wi-fi for gaming a tool that I would recommend is the Gear Up Booster. Gear Up can help you achieve lower ping in virtually any online game that you play thanks to their massive library of over 2000 online games that can be boosted with a click of a button. 
Europe has helped me get lower ping in Fortnite, getting me down from upwards of 200 ping at times down to the upper 75s range with no packet loss. And if you're on console, Europe has their own dedicated game router that can help you get the best performance from your network even on a console. They also have multiple servers across the world that you can switch to at any point of time, ensuring that you get the best routing to your actual game server. Europe is used by pros like Miro and Asian Jeff in Fortnite to get the best network performance and to get the lowest ping which gives them the advantage over their opponents so if you would like to get the advantage over your opponents as well you can check out the link below in the description and download gear up a huge thanks to gear up for sponsoring this video once our drivers have been updated we can start applying the best settings for our network card so for that you need to head back again into device manager click on the network adapters drop down look for your LAN card and then double click on it inside of here you need to click on advanced and then you'll see a bunch of settings that you can modify. So for the 2.4 GHz channel bandwidth, we're going to leave that to auto. And the same for 5 GHz channel bandwidth. For the 802.11 version, you can first set this to 802.11ax. Because AX supports Wi-Fi 6, which is the fastest and the latest version of Wi-Fi that is widely available. There's Wi-Fi 7 now as well, but AX is the most widely available one at the moment. But in case your Wi-Fi does not reconnect, that means that your connection does not support Wi-Fi 6. And then you'll have to go down to 802.11ac, which is for Wi-Fi 5. So you need to just test all of these versions and see which one works out the best for you when it comes to getting the lowest latency and the best performance. For these settings, I'm going to leave them to their default values because I'm not exactly sure what they do. For the ARP offloads, we're going to leave them to disabled. For the band selection, we're going to set that to all bands. For the GTK rekeying, we're going to disable that. For the power saving, we need to disable that. Preferred band, we're going to set this to prefer 5 GHz band if your router supports a 5 GHz connection. Otherwise, you can just leave this to no preference. Roaming aggressiveness, we're going to set this to the lowest. Transmit power level, you need to set this to the highest. I'm going to leave this setting to its default value because I'm not sure what this does. And for any of the wake on settings, we need to disable them as well. Now, if you own an Intel driver or any other network adapter, you might have extra settings. In that case, just leave the ones that you're not sure about to their default values. But in case you come across any settings which are related to power saving, make sure that you disable them because they will impact your performance. Once this is done, just click on OK. And now you might lose connection for a few seconds because your Wi-Fi card will restart to apply the settings. And now you can close device manager as well. Next, we are going to find the best DNS server for our connection so that we can get the lowest latency. For that, we are going to use a tool that is called the DNS Jumper. To download, you need to simply head to the link in the description. And on this website, you need to scroll all the way down. Make sure that you don't click on any of the advertisements that say download. And you only click on this button right here. Once you click on this, you might get an ad as a pop-up. You can just close this and then the download should start automatically. Once downloaded, you need to locate the file and then just simply extract the zip file. Once extracted, you need to open up the DNS jumper folder and then open up the DNS jumper.exe application. Inside of here, you need to first click on the flush DNS button. Once you click on that, you should see a pop-up which says successfully flush the DNS resolver cache. Once done, you need to next click on fastest DNS and then click on start DNS test. This will now start testing the best possible DNS for your connection with the lowest latency. This should take less than two minutes. And once this is done, you will see the best possible primary and secondary DNS for your connection. To apply these, you need to simply click on apply DNS server. And then once again, you'll see a notification informing you that the DNS has been changed. Once this is done, you can close this window. And now, as you can see, the custom DNS has been applied for us. Once this is done, you can close DNS jumper. And now I would recommend that you restart your PC to apply the settings properly. For this next week, you need to open up CMD as an administrator. And then you need to paste these commands one by one that you will find in the description of this video. Make sure that you only execute these commands in this order. And you might notice that once you enter the ipconfig slash release command, you might lose internet connectivity for a few minutes. If it doesn't come back, it will come back after you restart your PC. Once you have pasted all of these commands and executed them, you need to restart your PC. And with that, we are done with the CMD tweaks. 
For the next optimization, we are going to use TCP Optimizer to apply the best network settings for our card. First, we need to download TCP Optimizer from the link in the description. Once you are on this website, you need to click on the TCP Optimizer download button and then just save the file. Now just head to the download location and then make sure that you right click on TCP Optimizer and run this as administrator. If you don't run TCP Optimizer as administrator, it will give you an error and it will not let you modify these settings completely. So make sure that you run TCP Optimizer as an administrator. Once it's opened up, you need to click on Optimal. This will apply the most optimal settings according to your connection. And for the connection speed, make sure that you set this to the maximum. Now just click on Apply Changes and click on OK. And then you will see a pop-up asking you to reboot your computer. Now, if these settings don't end up working out for you, I'm also going to show you how you can revert back to your default settings. Now, when you apply these settings, you might have noticed that a file was created with the name First Backup. So this was a backup of your default settings. And now to open this backup, you need to head back into TCP Optimizer, click on File, and then just click on Restore Backed Up Settings. And then just select the first backup.spg file and click on open. Once you click on that, you will see the apply changes tab once again, and this will revert back your settings to the default ones. To continue, just click on OK. And now your settings will be reverted back to the default values. Once again, to apply the changes, you need to reboot your computer and then you're good to go. So that is going to be pretty much it for the Wi-Fi optimizations. If done correctly, these optimizations can help you reduce your ping by at least 10 to 20% and they can make your gameplay smoother by improving your latency. If this video helped you out, make sure to drop a like and subscribe to my channel for more tutorials like this one. If you'd like me to optimize your Wi-Fi or your PC for you, you can check out the link below in the description. Make sure to use code 72 creed inside of Fortnite item shop if you're buying anything and if you'd like to support me. That is all for today and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.